With the spring repertoire, we really go over to the dark side. We run into some very tormented characters. Um, I'm very excited that we are doing Tchaikovsky's opera Pico Valladama, The Queen of Spades, for the first time. It's an enormous piece, enormous chorus scenes, big important orchestral playing. The Queen of Spades is Tchaikovsky's most thrilling and compelling opera. Like Eugene Onegin and Mazeppa, uh, it's based on uh, a story by Pushkin. Uh, it's a very dark, very dramatic story of addiction and obsession. Um, addiction to gambling and obsession of a woman. The story is very recognizable, although it might be set in Russia over a hundred years ago. It's something that we've all tasted a corner of at one time or another. There's a girl who has everything. She comes from a nice family. They've arranged a marriage with a great guy to her. He sings one of the most beautiful arias in the show to her. He says, look, I'm not marrying you just out of a sense of duty. I love you. I want you to be my partner. I want you to be able to confide in me. What's not to like? There's just one thing. There's this other guy. He drinks too much. He has a little gambling problem. He's kind of depressed. She can't stay away from him. It doesn't end well. From a scenic and a costume point of view, it's relatively straightforward. It's not a, a massive show. There are fantastic puppets in it that are used sparingly throughout it to, to um, highlight the, uh, the subplot, if you like, of what, what is going on. Um, but it's a fantastic production and it really is powerful. It's, it's very strong. People who don't know it will really enjoy because it's a very clear narrative, it's very well told, um, and we have a fantastic cast that will, will really you know, knock, knock your socks off, I think. Coming back to sing the role of the dark man is Vladimir Galuzin, who was last seen with us in our performances of I Pagliacci at the beginning of last season. He sang the great role of the tormented clown Canio, who sings Vesti la Juba, one of the great, great tunes in opera. Mr. Galuzin is famous for playing these particularly dark characters, uh, dark and dangerous, and that's the way his singing is too. He goes for broke. Galuzin is maybe the most thrilling dramatic tenor of our time. Um, and Hammond is one of the roles that he is most famous for and has sung truly all over the world in the world's great opera houses. Um, I'm so thrilled that he'll be joining us again at HGO, but particularly thrilled that it will be in this signature role of his. Our Lisa, um, the heroine of the piece, is Tatiana Monogarova, a very beautiful, very intense young Russian soprano. Um, she has sung roles like Tatiana in Eugene Onegin in Paris, uh, at La Scala in Milan, um, and Lisa in The Queen of Spades is, is one of her uh, specialty roles. Judith Forst comes back to HGO to sing the extraordinary role of the Countess. Um, the Countess is a, 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 a beauty uh, grown old, um, somebody who reminisces about her past life uh, as a, a Parisian courtesan who is, when we see her, uh, rattled and depressed and malevolent. Uh, it's a fantastic part for a great character actress and Judith Forst is, is perfect for it. Um, two HGO debutantes um, Thomas Thomason, uh, a marvellous Icelandic bass baritone, sings the role of Tomsky, and Vasily Lyadyuk, um, a young Russian baritone, uh, sings the role of Yeletsky. Um, both are exciting young artists uh, who are very, very welcome here at Houston Grand Opera. The conductor of the Queen of Spades is Carlo Rizzi, um, a, a, an immensely distinguished I Italian conductor who was last with us uh, in our new production of Aida uh, a couple of years ago. He, he's someone who brings tremendous uh, vitality and energy and passion to everything he does uh, and uh, Tchaikovsky's uh, miraculous score for the Queen of Spades is one that requires all those characteristics. Um, I, I can't think of a more thrilling evening in the Opera House 
than a great performance of Tchaikovsky's Queen of Spades. I'm confident that um, in our production next season with the wonderful cast, the wonderful conductor, uh, the wonderful production that we have, um, the Queen of Spades will really make a mark and make a big impression uh, on HGO audiences.